What the f Hey folks, this is The Total Dork here with my first review on the channel for It Modcast. Um, season 7 of The Walking Dead season premiere review. So, we've been waiting for about 6-7 months to find out who would uh, meet Lucille. Um, and tonight we finally uh, got that reveal. And it was not one, but two major deaths. And uh, to say the least, it definitely hit... Uh, fans of the show pretty damn hard literally so let's start with the deaths um, we have to uh, say rest in peace to uh, Sergeant Abraham Ford and Mr. Glenn Ree Negan does the eeny meeny miny mo we get to see that from Rick's point of view and basically this whole episode is kind of seen through Rick's point of view so with that lineup and that pivotal scene we see this from Rick's point of view and we see that he originally picks Abraham um, now Abraham in this lineup from the season finale of season six you can kind of see that um, Throughout a lot of the characters, when they would have those shots, they would either be very kind of cowering down or you see them being frightened and scared. And in that line, though, whenever you saw the close-up of Abraham, he was the one that always kind of like stood up, um, uh, showing that he wasn't afraid to basically die for the people that he loved. In this lineup, you probably want to pick the person that seems like he's probably the biggest threat. And in that particular lineup, at that moment, uh, Abraham looked like he probably could have been the biggest threat because he wasn't afraid to die. So when we actually get to see <laughs> uh, Lucille make contact with uh, Abraham's skull, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty horrific. In classic Abraham form, he... Uh, he looks up and says uh, says a classic Abraham line that we all would expect him to say. He says, suck my nuts. And Negan continues to take the bat to his head and basically just demolishes his skull. After that happens, um, Daryl uh, actually comes around and stands up and punches Negan in the face. At this moment, this was the oh shit, oh shit, oh shit moment. And I thought uh, the fan favorite, everybody's favorite character, my personal favorite character, I thought this was the end of, uh, I thought this was his going to be his demise. They put Daryl back into the lineup and Negan continues to say that was a big no-no. Um, and so basically somebody has to pay for Daryl stepping out of line and <laughs> and in shocking form and it seems like it goes in tune with what was also seen in the graphic novel um, Negan says okay back to it and the way that shot was framed you can almost kind of tell Glenn was next and at that moment he turns to Glenn and the bat comes down on his head and it is gruesome. So with his skull bashed in, he looks at Maggie. Eye popping out of his socket, he looks towards Maggie and is trying to say her name. And as he's trying to say her name, he says, I will find you. And that was just devastating to to know where those two characters have gone through to know what Maggie has gone through losing basically everybody that she's loved losing Herschel losing her sister and now in this moment having to watch the love of her life um, get killed in such a horrific and brutal way um, it was it, it, it was it was actually a bit much um, to watch 
and knowing from the graphic novel that it was Glenn that died and uh, for me personally thinking that they would definitely follow suit because that, that's such an important and pivotal um, moment in the graphic novel and Stephen Yoon even said it himself he was like um, this has to play out this way I don't want if you're going to do uh, this arc if you're going to do this story it has to be Glenn and I respect him. Uh, I respect him as an actor for wanting to take on that responsibility and not wanting to shy away from that. Knowing that and to actually see it is something completely and wholly different. And uh, it was it was definitely hard to watch. This episode was really about uh, Rick and Negan and Negan getting Rick to bend at his will um, to basically break him down psychologically um, to get him to submit. Uh, to this new way of life. I would argue that the moment at the end of this episode between Negan, Rick, and Carl is just as intense as the death of Abraham and Glenn that we get to see. When he literally has that axe raised and about to cut off the forearm of his son, Carl, um, we see for the first time Rick as a defeated man and then they haul the bodies of Glenn and Abraham into the RV. And uh, it's, a, it's a great moment with Rick as he, um, before he gets into the RV, where you see this one uh, lonely walker just come out from the woods and start to walk towards. And Rick sees this walker and then he just goes into the RV and closes the door gets into the driver's seat, and then starts to drive off. We realize in this world at this moment that the walkers are not even an issue. The walkers are the most insignificant thing at that moment. At that moment, the biggest threat is not the walkers. The biggest threat is your fellow man. The, biggest, the bigger threat is Negan. We haven't met a character like Negan uh, in the past six seasons. So this is basically going to take the show in a completely different direction. And I'm interested to see where it goes from here. I love seeing Jeffrey Dean Morgan play the character of Negan as despicable and vile and horrific and menacing and chilling as he was um, at the end of the season six uh, finale and in this uh, season opener. He plays him with such charisma, and you, you're, he's magnetic on the screen. I mean, anytime he's on screen, you are just, you're captivated by him. And that's really due to his performance of that character. This was a damn good uh, episode uh, to kick off season seven. Um, <laughs> we got 15 more episodes to go, and I can guarantee there are going to be some other moments uh, that are, per are pretty much going to shock us um, in the next 15 episodes. Like Negan says, I'm just getting started. So, uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to decompress a little bit, and uh, with that, I'm out.